Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with an interesting video on how you can make DIY butter paper at home with no oil. Since we couldn't find any butter paper at the stores nearby and there weren't much ideas on how you can make butter paper for DIYs on the internet, we finally came up with a way that you can make DIY butter paper at home and that's what we'll be sharing with you guys today. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to need some regular A4 papers, a candle, and an iron box. So we're just going to take our candle and start rubbing it onto the A4 paper. You have to keep rubbing the candle onto the paper for a minimum of 4 times both horizontally and vertically. We're only going to do this for one side of the paper. Also, there's no fixed amount of times that you have to keep on rubbing the candle onto the paper for, but essentially the purpose of the step is to make sure that there is a light coat of wax on the entire paper and there's no gaps in between and doing it both horizontally and vertically will reduce the chances of there being a lot of gaps in the middle, but if there is any gaps, we can still fill them in later. After rubbing for a while, you'll start noticing some waxy particles on the paper, which is actually the wax being transferred. And they're really subtle, but they are visible. And this is the amount of wax that we have transferred onto the paper. As you can see, there's a little dent on the tip of the candle. Moving on to the next part, we have put one paper below the wax paper that we had made. And the part with wax, we're going to flip it over so that the wax is facing the paper below. And then we are putting one extra paper on top of the wax and then simply ironing it. Putting a paper below and on top of the wax paper but it basically allows any extra amount of wax on the paper to be transferred onto the papers below and on top. So after you have ironed them, you'll see that there are some parts that would remain white. These are the parts with less wax on them. And don't worry, all you have to do is rub it again with some wax. This is the perfect time to fill in the gaps because the paper is still warm and due to the light heat, it would be easier for the wax to transfer onto the paper. So let's get doing that. So once again, we're just going to put a paper below, put a paper on top, and then re-iron it. Now we're just going to take the butter paper out and have a look at it. It is clear and smooth and there's no white marks or anything like there was at first. And now it's finally time to test the butter paper out and have a look at the results. We're about to do a waterproof test. So we have some water in a spray can and all we're going to do is spray some of that water onto the wax paper. And as you can see here, the water will not dissolve into the paper. It accumulates on top like raindrops. You can simply wipe them out and they'll be as good as new. So this is the transparency test. As you can see, um, butter paper is translucent. It's like half transparent, you can see through it. It can also be used as tracing paper. Now let's just compare the transparency of a butter paper versus a regular paper. Now it's time for the non-stick test. So because of this wax layer, nothing can be sticked on top of the butter papers. So we're going to stick a piece of paper and as you can see, the piece of paper will not stick on because of the wax layer and you can take it off easily anytime. The butter paper feels like a mixture of paper and plastic, kind of flaky, thin, dry, yet pretty smooth.
Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Bye.